we present Total Relighting, a novel deep learning based system for portrait background replacement. Our method takes as input a single low dynamic range portrait image and a high dynamic range lighting environment, which serves as both the target background image and as a light source. With a single photo, you can now be anywhere without needing a green screen or any specialized capture hardware. Given an image, traditional matting estimation recovers a foreground and an alpha mat, but if directly used for compositing, the lighting of the foreground may not match the new background, limiting the realism of the composite. Our proposed background replacement framework is the first to consider both matting estimation and portrait relighting in one complete system for the unconstrained setting, for truly convincing composites with high quality boundary details and realistic appearance. Starting from an input image, our learning-based matting module infers an alpha mat and foreground color. Next, our relighting module takes an input HDR lighting environment and relights the foreground to match the target scene. The relit subject is then composited into a background extracted from the lighting panorama with consistent illumination. For the relighting module, we introduce a novel pixel-aligned lighting representation based on the insight that UNET type architectures favor spatially aligned inputs. We pre-convolve the target lighting with Lambertian and Fong specular reflectance lobes, and then index into these pre-filtered environment maps using inferred surface normals to produce both diffuse and specular light maps. We provide these light maps along with inferred albedo as input to a neural rendering network to produce each relit foreground. To train our matting and relighting models, we capture one light at a time style images of 70 diverse individuals in a light stage system using 58 different cameras. From these images, we recover ground truth albedo and surface normals. Given a clean plate and a tri map, we also introduce a technique to recover high quality ground truth alpha mats for each viewpoint for the OLAT dataset captured inside the light stage. Then using many high resolution HDR lighting environments, we generate synthetic portraits using image-based relighting, compositing relit subjects into novel backgrounds with consistent illumination. Now let's take a look at further results that are generated using our method. For relighting, we compare with two recent state-of-the-art techniques. Our method outperforms both for evaluation subjects filmed in the light stage as well as for in the wild portraits. Please see the paper for further details. To evaluate the effectiveness of our novel in-network lighting representation, we perform an ablation study comparing with alternative representations from recent work, outperforming each. We also demonstrate the importance of including an adversarial loss term in the face region, which aids in harsh shadow and specularity removal from the input image. We show further ablation studies in the full paper. Our work has several potential applications. As the core technique generalizes well to in the wild portraits, our method can be used to relight and composite anyone into a novel scene given the target illumination. Here we show a few different examples. We can also extend this technique to rotate the lighting environment around the subjects, demonstrating dynamic relighting. Our relighting method synthesizes view-dependent reflection effects like specularities, and our high-quality matting module ensures a seamless composite. Although trained on images and not video, we can also film an actor's performance and composite them into several new scenes matching the target lighting. Here's our model run for every frame of the input video. But what if you don't have a lighting environment? First, we show one possibility, which is portrait lighting transfer. Given three input portraits and two new portraits to use as light sources, we estimate the illumination from the source images using a portrait-based lighting estimation technique. Then we can relight and composite the original subjects into these same scenes as before. 
We also show that this can work for any background image. Given three portraits and two background images to use as light sources, we estimate lighting from these backgrounds using an unconstrained image lighting estimation technique and apply our method as before. Although our method generalizes well to in the wild portraits, it does have some limitations. First, our method relies on a partial intrinsic image decomposition, and the estimated albedo can be imperfect for clothing. Next, our relit portraits are missing important specular highlights for the eyes. And finally, our matte estimates are per frame, and so we can see temporal inconsistencies. We'll conclude with additional results, including for synthesizing one light at a time style images from in the wild portraits, as well as relighting and compositing several subjects into different scenes.